Hello and welcome to another episode of Optic Straight Debates. Uh, Theodore and I will be with you today. And th today we're going to talk about another term that you find on our, our website that we think needs a little bit more um, thorough explaining. And the, the term is uh, close focusing distance. We can find this term with the binoculars, with the uh, digital night vision devices and with the thermal devices. What is close focusing distance? Well, basically it tells the distance at which, which is the minimum distance for any optical device uh, on which you can clearly observe the image. Where you can focus the image and where you can see nicely and sharply all the details. Um, it's important especially if you look at, uh, let's say flowers, if you look at uh, uh, butterflies, uh, anything what is close. And uh, it, even because the binoculars, all, all other devices, thermals, the digital optics and so on, um, they can even enlarge the image. So you basically can use all these devices on close focus to enlarge all the details which you wish to see. And normally the smaller the distance, the better. Um, especially there are many people who observe uh, butterflies in detail with binoculars close focusing distance is important for them. Um, we have two types of binoculars. So we have the ones with the central focusing system mm -hmm. and we have the ones who have uh, individual focusing, indi for, each individual eye focusing for each eye. Mm -hmm. um, is there any difference with the close focusing distance between these two types that is worth pointing out? Very big difference. With a, with a central focusing, with a central focusing, you can actually focus all the way down to one meter with the best binoculars. One meter and a half is already a very decent, very good result, but some even go closer. So even at such a close range, you still have a normal image of one circle. Because if you look through the binoculars, you don't see two circles like in the movies and so on. You see one circle. You see uh, the image in a circle and then everything around it is black. If you look at the objects which are closer than the minimal focusing distance, which are closer than the close focusing distance, then you will see two circles like in the movies and the image will not be clear. And with, uh, with central focusing, as mentioned, this close focusing distance can be really short, even less than one meter. With individual focusing for each eye, these are usually, this focusing is usually found on uh, or prison uh, binoculars for marine use or, or similar. Uh, great system for low light use, but not a great system for close focus because with some models, even 20 meters is sometimes mm -hmm. not enough of a distance for a close focusing distance. So they are handicapped in this, in this aspect. So if you're wishing to look at the butterflies, flowers and so on, don't use individual focusing because the, the close focusing distance will be just too great. Uh, with compact binoculars, which you also have here, with central focusing, like most of them have, uh, the close focusing distance are even smaller. Because of the small lenses, uh, you can even have 60 centimeters or 80 centimeters of close focusing distance. So the compact binoculars in this aspect can be really, really good. Oh, what about with the digital uh, night vision devices and with the thermal devices, is information on the close focus and distance important? Well, it's not important for, let's say, butterfly watching. Yeah. But it is important if you, if you want to observe uh, objects at, at close range. Uh, some of them, some of these devices have a inter, uh, ex, how to say, infinite uh, focus, that means they are in focus at all the distances. Mm -hmm. uh, others, which offer better details and so on, they have a focusing on a knob, which is you're rotating either around the lens, like on this uh, Pulsar uh, Quantum Light uh, monocular, or a knob on top of the, on top of the, let's say one uh, forward digital night vision attachment uh, F155, where there is a knob on top of the device, which you are rotating and you're uh, you're focusing the device. With these devices, usually close focusing distance is a bit further. I would say 5 meters, 10 meters, 15 meters, something like that. Uh, it's not important, for, let's say, for uh, butterfly watching, but it is important if, let's say, with thermals, if you are watching at some insulation, if you are watching at some electricity 
circuits and so on because you're usually standing quite close. So in this uh, aspect, because the thermals can be used for a lot of things, not only for hunting or, or similar, they can also be used for, uh, for all the fields in construction, in electricity, engineering and so on. So there it's important. And if we go back to hunting and let's say with the um, digital forward attachments, there it's important because sometimes the animals come really close and let's say focusing on 10 meters can be necessity mm -hmm. in some situations. Uh, apart from that, it's not really that important uh, in this, in this uh, field of devices, so digital day or night vision or thermal. Thank you for explaining another important term from the field of optics. Uh, Thank you, Andras, this would for be, all the questions. Uh, this would be all from my side. So, um, if you found the video useful, hit like and subscribe. And if you have any additional questions about the term, you can send us an email or uh, put a comment in the comment section below. And very, thank you very much for watching and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.